So for today, we're going to be looking at Eye of Another World. If you guys don't know, I used to make uh, videos revolving around exotics and then make fashion around them. I also talked about what they did and all this other stuff. And they're probably the reason why I got my foot into fashion, just because a lot of people really liked a lot of my videos. So I am going to bring these back just because A, they're really not easy to make, but they're just very simple compared to the other content that I make. And uh, I'm going to be going out of town recently. So I'm going to be making these videos to like uh, have a buffer. So that way I don't have to worry about making a video when I'm out of town. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, we will be making quite a few of these just because uh, I have a, quite a bit. People have asked for these and I don't want people to forget that I do this. So just to let you guys know, I have another world is what we're doing today. Curious of the Fallen Star is next, Horfrost Z, the Graviton Forfeit, and that's it. After that, I'll probably pick other exotics to pick or to use. And then after that, once we're done with all of the exotics, then we'll go for like a second round and show you like some other fashion related stuff. Not not so much what the exotic does, because at that point, the second round, you must have watched the first one. So at that point, like I'm already working on my stompies video, which I have a lot of stompies look that I've made over the years. So I'm trying to like compile all of the all of the looks that I've made. So again, it's going to be a lot of work, but I really do like these videos just because a lot of people are interested in s certain exotics. And sometimes you just need a little bit of help and I'm here to help with that. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, let's actually look at what the exotic does. Cerebral Uplink highlights priority targets and improves the regeneration speed of your grenade, melee, and rift abilities. Provides a small benefit to the airborne effect in the set of all weapons. So this exotic is not used a lot. At least I don't see it used a lot, but it is really good considering uh, the regeneration to your grenade, melee, and rift ability is wild and highlights priority. If I remember correctly, the priority targets uh, have like a red outer glow now. I could be wrong about that. I haven't used this one in quite a bit, but from what I've noticed, I most people don't use this because to be fair, a lot of people are going to be using like transversive steps, which is fair or Ophidian aspect, which again, also fair considering those two are probably the most useful when it comes to PVP, not saying I have another world's trash. It's actually really good. It's just, it's more for, it's like an acquired taste, I guess you would say again, I would definitely tell you just to try it out because you might never know you might really really like it and if you're into that grenade melee or rift like ability recharge rate that's going to be really good as well i just i don't know i don't really use it let's just say that as for how it looks i think it looks amazing i love the fact that it's symmetrical i love a lot of the things about this exotic i just think it looks super cool overall it does have an ornament unfortunately it is unobtainable but i will still showcase it in case those of you who do have it are wondering what i do with it but I also like the plugs on the helmet. I think that's super cool. The only negative I can really say about this is the fact that the smoke actually doesn't change color in the helmet. I would have liked if the smoke actually did change color. Speaking of color, let's just go into shaders. Ancient Wisdom looks really cool with it. My only gripe again is just the fact that I wish the smoke changed color because now you're stuck with the white smoke. And like with certain shaders like Echoed Anger, I think it looks pretty cool with it, but like I also just don't like Abyssinian Gold with it. To be fair, Abyssinian Gold is just not like one of my fit, not my favorite shaders anymore, just because the main color of plate armor is that brown color. And I've always say this and every time, every time we look at Abyssinian Gold, I always have to like at least mention it, but that's why I'm not the biggest fan of Abyssinian Gold. And then honestly, I do think Cryptic Insignia looks the best with it just because the white smoke goes really well with the white plate armor and then the blue accents i think look really really cool with it overall i think this exotic looks really really cool and you i don't think you're gonna have much trouble making sets with it speaking of which my example set i think looks really really cool so for the helmet obviously we're using i have another world and this look is a look that i made just on, on whim honestly i just kind of like decided to go with it and i'm really happy i did because i do think that all of this looks really really well put together so let's go with shaders for shaders i went with the ensilvered snare just because i like the texture that it gives to the chest piece but also the glow color is like a light green white it's really hard to explain but i immediately saw this color and went to oh shit boreal char actually has and not an off color, but it has a light green color to it, which is going to look really cool with this. And it's going to turn everything else black, which um, it's going to look good with this. So I actually like this color combination quite a bit. And for the arms technology gloves with the cunning of the contender robes, I think is a good combination. 
hold fast boots because I don't want any plate armor in this and then ancestral bond because I want a little bit more glow in there. So I'm actually pretty proud of this one just because I think it looks really, really cool. And the color coding is really good as well, or color combination, I should say, because Boreal Char and then Silvered Snare just look really good together. Overall, let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the ornament, it's called Gaze Beyond Worlds. This is unfortunately unobtainable. And what I mean by that is this was available during Warmind, the DLC Warmind, uh, specifically the faction rally. You had to pick a faction and basically do a bunch of stuff for them until you can get this ornament. And unfortunately, it's unobtainable, which I say unfortunate because I didn't get the Titan one because I decided to get the Hunter helmet, even though that's fucking trash. I hate it. I think I've done a video on that on that exotic. If I did, I'll have it up right now. But I really hate that exotic, uh, specifically that ornament, just because the Titan one actually changes the geometry of the chess piece and it looks really, really cool. And I still like kind of kick myself for not going for that instead of the Hunter one. But yeah, I think this ornament looks super, super cool. Instead of the smoke, we have this really cool like fucking Elden Ring ring, which is fucking cool. I really like it more like actually it's more like a Dark Souls ring. Now that I think about it, it doesn't matter. It's just something I noticed, but I think it looks really, really cool. The geometry of the helmet is still intact, but the main focus is going to be the actual like plugs on the helmet are purple, which actually do change color. They're a glow. And then the helmet is just black with that ring in the middle, which I think is way better as for how it shaders. I think it shaders really well. I think it looks really good with ancient wisdom. And like I said, those plugs on the helmet, you actually see that are, they are changing color with the glow and yeah, it shaders really well. I think echoed anger looks pretty, really pretty cool with it. Um, even, even Abyssinian and gold, like I hate the brown color, but the plug color, the glow is so on point with the ring that I was like, man, this looks cool, like really cool. And I think funnily enough, the worst shader would probably have to be uh, Cryptic Insignia just because the, the ring doesn't match any of the colors. And I think it's actually clashing quite a bit so that I wouldn't be using Cryptic Insignia for it. As for the example set, I wanted to go with the ring glow. So I'm using Erebus Glance in combination with the Omnicronia shader. Those two pair really well together because if you guys haven't seen my Erebus Glance shader video, you guys should definitely check it out because I explain it in further depth. But the cool thing is Erebus Glance has an off color. The off color is an orange. You actually you can actually see it on the robe, specifically the the like shirt under the undershirt of the robe. That orange right there is the off color or yeah, it's the off color. And usually I would have been annoyed, but because it's such a close comparison to the Omnicronia plate armor, I was like, I can actually make this look cool because I can go for an all black look or I can go for an or like like a plate armor orange color, like how I'm doing right now with the arms and the boots and the bond. So I actually really like this a lot. Like it looks super cool. The main theme about this is black and orange, which is I'm not orange, but like it, it looks orange to me, more like orangey bronze or bronze. I don't know. Either way, that's kind of the theme of this because the ring in the middle has a slight orange uh, like Q to it or hue to it, which is why I went with it. And honestly, that was like the, the one thing I latched onto, like the ring has this like light orange hue to it. And I want to like revolve the shader around that. And that's why what I ended up doing, uh, I'm an Acronia for the Tust Allegiance gloves, the Forbidden Visage boots and the Technologic Bond. All was easy just because again, it's really simple to do that with plate armor because the plate armor would always take that orange color. And then for the chest piece and the helmet, Erebus Glance, because uh, Erebus Glance has that orange. And if I had used like uh, Omnicronia for the chest piece, it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been good because a the glow for that shader is blue and uh, it would have had like it would have had a dark blue color for all of the chest piece. Um, so that's why I didn't use it. And then for Erebus Glance, the reason I did that is because a it turns the whole helmet black and the glow is almost the same to everything else, if not the same. So that's why I ended up going with the things that I'm going with. So Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. Whoever asked for I Have Another World, I do apologize that this took forever, but I will be making exotic videos again, just because uh, A, it's content that's so simple to make for me because I can just make a fashion set for an exotic real fast, which also means that the second round videos are just gonna be even better because I, 
constantly make like sets for a lot of exotics so i'm just keeping that in the in my back pocket i don't know how i'm gonna do it yet because i don't think i'm gonna be rotating the armor the whole thing because i do have a lot of armor sets we'll see just because the hunter one alone actually i can let me just show you real quick what i mean because it is really ridiculous just how much i've i do this to myself so as you guys can see this is uh a, i i take a lot of pictures of of this because of the channel i do a, a bunch of stuff but i'm working on sh shader videos i already have them up here and i do have hunter titan and warlock so if you guys are interested in just because i did get i did so someone did ask and obviously i was like you know what fair point i'll do it for everyone so be looking out for that we're gonna be doing that probably next week when i come back from my trip but uh where are the, oh the hunter sets are right here so all of these are just using stompies and this i'm not even like it i did it like the same day so i obviously have a lot of like fashion that i did for stompies and this isn't even all of them throughout the years i just haven't like saved all of them so this is not even all of them i still have quite a bit of them in the back pocket which i am definitely going to be going back and trying to see if i can find some old ones because I want to give you guys as much fashion as I can, and this is going to be a great way for that. So I don't, I probably won't even wait for all of the exotics to be done. I probably will just start it already because it's easy content again, like I said, and it's just going to be useful for a lot of you. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.